a startup nation. Israel's 6,000 startups are central to the country's high tech sector, a sector that represents 10 percent of the country's GDP and nearly half of its exports. There is a can do approach. We can do everything, we can win everything, we can conquer everything that we want. Israeli businesses are on the cutting edge. The GPS app Waze, developed in Israel, was bought out by Google for a billion dollars. Israel has even sent a probe to the moon, scheduled to land on Thursday. To protect Israel's future, we have to develop a scientific and technological capacity and know-how that surpasses that of our adversaries. With technology and security closely linked, 4.2 percent of the Israeli GDP goes to research and development, twice as much as in the United States. But not everyone is benefiting. 18 percent of the population lives in poverty, mostly members of the Orthodox and Arab Israeli communities, and resources aren't evenly distributed. The case of the Arab community, it's systematic discrimination and racism. The funding that the government is allocating to Arab villages and cities created a huge gap in the services, that, in the educational services. Meanwhile, the Bank of Israel is concerned about an economic slowdown, noting growing competition from abroad and a widening government deficit.